royal family rushed to be by Queen Elizabeth II's side ahead of her death, including grandson Prince Harry. While it was first reported that Harry's wife Meghan Markle would be accompanying her husband to Scotland, she ultimately didn't go, and an insider explains her absence. Meghan felt it would be wrong to go to Balmoral given her history with the royal family. A source tells In Touch exclusively on Thursday, September the 8th, following the Queen's passing, it was direct family only, and she's unwelcome there. According to royal expert Katie Nicholl, an invitation to join the family at the estate was not extended to Meghan. It's understood that the family wanted Prince Harry to be there, even though he was unable to get to Balmoral in time to see his grandmother, Nicholl told. But Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, was not, we understand, invited to join the family, Nicholl adds. She said she would go to Balmoral another time, but I think it's quite significant that Prince Harry travelled to Balmoral on his own without his wife. Harry and Meghan were scheduled to attend the Well Child Awards in London, following an earlier announcement that Queen Elizabeth's health had taken a decline. The Sussexes cancelled their appearance and the Duke embarked on a plane solo from London to Scotland. Photos showed him looking sombre as he rode in a black car to the Queen's Balmoral home, with his hand covering a portion of his face. The death of Queen Elizabeth II will be especially hard on a grandson Prince Harry, whose relationship with the royal family had become strained in recent years, Karl Stefanovic said. A sombre Stefanovic made the observation on the Today Show at around 5.30am as news of the Queen's death broke in Australia early Friday morning. As the programme showed photos of the Queen's children and grandson Prince William making their way to Balmoral to say goodbye, co-host Alison Langdon said the Duke of Sussex wasn't there for the passing of his beloved grandmother. Stefanovic, who was looking at a photo of Harry in a car arriving at the Scottish estate, said, looks like he's a alone there too going into Balmoral, noting the absence of his wife Meghan. He continued, It's a difficult day when any member of your family dies. For Harry, doubly difficult, I would have thought. Stefanovic did not expand on his thought, likely out of respect for Her Majesty's memory. On the other hand, Stefanovic's remark about the loss being doubly difficult could just have been about how Harry was not with the Queen when she died. The Queen's son, King Charles III, his wife Camilla, the Queen Consort, and Princess Anne were all already in Scotland for prior engagements. Prince William, Prince Andrew, Prince Edward and his wife Sophie, Countess of Sussex, all arrived in Scotland earlier in the day. It has not been confirmed which, if any, family members were with the Queen at the time of her death. Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, did not join her husband as she was seen in Windsor picking up her children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis from school. William and Catherine, who are now the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and Cornwall, were seen a day earlier attending a school event with their children. According to Katie Nicholl, as the immediate members of the family have gathered, the photos of them arriving at the castle confirm their moods. I think the pictures that we saw of family members arriving at Balmoral really said it all, she tells. This is a family in mourning now, and of course, the Queen was a mother, a grandmother, and a great-grandmother.